Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, for real Christmas, not just like cookies and presents and, you know, shopping. Yeah. I don't know. You know what my favorite scripture is about Christmas, concerning Christmas, is the prophecies. Yeah. You know, like, not even just the New Testament prophecy, but the Old Testament prophecies. Mm -hmm. You know, like Isaiah prophesied, you know, behold, I will give to you Emmanuel, you know, it's something along those lines where... It's just reminding us that, like, the Lord is going to bring this to pass. Yeah. You know, he was silent for so long, but before he was, hey. God told him, like, I will bring redemption. You know, I'll make this all right. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I just feel like it brings so much more validity mm -hmm. to, like, when Jesus came. It yeah. established it, you know. Yeah, I agree. And I don't know. There's something about knowing that the birth of your child was foretold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's a little bit of comfort. It gives you times. some comfort. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I don't know, it kind of it's reminds like, me, it kind of reminds like, me of like what's been prophesied for me and my kids, even though it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. You know? Right. That there's still a promise. Yeah. Absolutely. And and then, oh my gosh. For sure. It's still going to happen. Hey, Pilky, yeah. can I help you? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Okay, you want to punch these in here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You punch them really hard. And then, Tone, it made me think about you when it comes to Mary because here's Mary and you know she couldn't shouldn't have had a baby <laughs> you know what I mean she's a virgin right and the angels come to her yeah and are saying you know you're gonna be you're gonna have a child conceived yeah. of the Holy Spirit you know and this child will be the savior of all and just how she took it and responded and it totally made me think about you with Benjamin and like you weren't even supposed to be able to have yeah, kids. Yeah, right. No, yeah. I mean, it was a it was totally a miracle. I mean, absolutely. And, and the Lord and foretold his birth, right? He did. Yeah, he did. Oh no, my you know, broken. My broken. I was, it's okay. I wasn't supposed to, you know, have kids at all. And um, you know, and then I just started feeling kind of crazy for yeah. like, you know. Oh, we remember. Weeks. Yeah. yeah. It was super weird. And um, and I just was like. You know, I, so anyway, long story short, you know, I just, 
I had a dream that there was this little, you know, boy in his bassinet next to our bed. And I, and I was saying Benjamin David to him. And um, so anyway, I <clears throat> woke up the next morning and I'm like, well, Lord, if, 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 and I just, you know, you know those dreams where it's like the Lord is really talking to you. Oh, yeah. And you know that they're from the Lord. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, Lord, you know, I felt a little crazy, like just going and getting a test when I was told I couldn't have cancer. So I'm yeah, like, all right. I don't want to, I don't want to be that crazy person. Yeah. So I'm like, God, you know, just show me again. So I had the dream. He gave me the same exact dream the next night. Um, and so, um, no, so it was, it was true and it was real and, um, God really spoke to me and, and showed me and, um, you know, and the really cool part about it that I love is that, you know, he was, he names us even in the, like his name yeah. was even, yes. the yeah. Lord even had his name. Just like you know? he did with Jesus. Yeah. And so, wow. not that, not that Benjamin's, yeah. no, but yeah, wow. it's, <laughs> but, like, but yeah, it shows that names are important. Yeah, he knows our name. Yeah, you know, yes. and so um, yeah, I know that cool. Mommy knew what she was gonna call you before you were ever born because Jesus told her. Yeah, I felt like there was just no way I could awesome. not name him that. Like yeah. if I was naming him yeah. that, if I was calling him that, I'm like, no, yeah, that's obviously the name the Lord wants me yep. to have. So it's very right. true. Yeah. That stuff's special. It is special. It is yeah. special. Well, the Holy Spirit's good. Yeah. To reveal everything, things unknown. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. And. Sure. I think it's important to remember that in these seasons that mm -hmm. he has, like you said, you know, he has, God has a special name. It's Emmanuel, you know what I yeah. mean? It's Messiah, it's Jesus, it's yeah. Redeemer. And then not only that, but to your point, Tony, he knows our name. Yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. He knows our name. He does know our name. Yeah. So it's awesome. It's yeah. cool. It's a good time. You know, this is, there's no better time to just be you reminded know. of those things. Yeah. That's what, that is what Christmas is about. You know? It is. It really exactly is. Exactly what it's about. Oh, yeah. And it's fun having a little kid around during Christmas. I know. Look how many years we went without one. I know. Until the Lord sent us. You and more to come, him. Charity. Yeah. Right. The fulfillment of the prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Mommies and daddies always believe. Said quietly, 
So Benjamin, have you ever heard the story of the Christmas tear? You ever heard that story? Well, Bubby's going to tell it to you. So what happened is way back at the beginning of time, before anything existed except for God, God made a plan because he knew that men were going to fail. So the plan was that he would send his son to save the world. And to say, send his son, he had to make a hard decision. You know how hard the decision was? It would be like me sending you to somebody that didn't like you. That would be hard to do, wouldn't it? It'd be hard to do, because I want everybody to love you just like I love you. But what ended up happening was, is that when Jesus and God, in the dispensation of the fullness of time, when Jesus was ready to leave heaven to come to earth, God got really sad. And so what he did was Jesus and God took a, had a big hug. And as they hugged, God had a tear that formed in his eye. And all the hosts of heaven had never seen that before. And when they looked at the tear, the light from all of the angels and all of creation looked at it, it created the Christmas star. And when that Christmas star appeared in the sky, it announced to the world that the Savior was coming. And there was some wise men way back in the east, and they saw the star. And when they saw it, they followed it. And you know where they followed it to? They followed it all the way to the manger where Jesus had been born. And when they followed it there, they brought gifts to him. You know what, you know what gifts they brought? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And when they brought them, they laid those gifts at the feet of Jesus, and they worshiped him and praised him. So the story is that whenever we are in the world and we get afraid, or we get scared, or we're not sure about something, that we can always look up to heaven and God will always shine the light for us to find our way. And you know where he wants to lead us? He wants to lead us to Jesus because Jesus is the answer for everybody, for you, for me, for our family. And when we put our faith in him, you know what he does? He comes and lives in our heart and he changes our life forever. Do you have Jesus in your heart? Yep, yeah, it's important. I'm glad you do, bud. We're going to have a great Christmas. You want to know why? Because Jesus was born, and a couple days after that, you know who else was born? Benjamin was born. <laughs> and so we love it when we can celebrate our two favorite people on that same day. Does that sound like a plan? All right. The stars are brightly shining It is the night of our dear Savior's birth Long lay the world in sin and there are
You know, I love Christmas, and one of the things I love about Christmas is the unique way God spoke to the shepherds. Yeah. Uh, good news, right? Good news uh, always needs to be celebrated. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And God is some good news. Good news right now. <laughs> yeah. In 2020. Yeah. Well, the good news is, is it's going away. <laughs> That's the good news. Oh. Yeah, so you think about the shepherds, you know, they lived a very obscure life, uh, very uncelebrated incredible poverty, yeah. um, you know, they always smelled like the sheep, lived yeah. with the sheep, yeah. uh, very little socialization, they weren't considered uh, very significant in relationship to the, yeah. to the culture that they lived in, and when God decided he wanted to celebrate and throw a party about the coming of his son, he sent angels yeah. to them. And that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And it says something about how God exalts the humble. Yeah, for sure. Really looks, does. That's a good point. How God looks at people and yeah. he sees them beyond their station at life. Yeah. And he sees mm -hmm. them beyond the circumstances they were raised in or that they're serving. And that the good news is not limited to the, the root, or the wealthy, yeah. or the educated. It's related to everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. you know, he didn't he didn't send you know, we have both social spheres in the story. We have the, well, not this story, but this whole Christmas story. We have both social spheres. We have the magi, wealthy, yeah, yeah. educated, you know. Mm -hmm. Well to do. Yeah, yeah, influence. And then you have the shepherds who are on the other end of the pendulum. And so you see how only Jesus can bring those things together that's, that's at totally the same true. place. Yeah. And yeah. one's not considered superior to the other. Yeah. And uh, so when you think about some of the great things that you celebrate about the season or about life or about the wonderful things that God's produced in your life and it's produced joy yeah. in you, what are some of the things that come to mind? I mean, we obviously have mm -hmm. our grandson, mm -hmm. but I also think about just our past, that, that, Christmas, yeah. Yeah. that Christmas that I went to the Philippines. Oh man, yeah. Remember, you guys were, how old were you, Cherry? Oh probably man, probably. 10, not even 10. Yeah, 10. You were probably about 8, right? Nine or um, 10. Maybe, maybe 8 or, yeah, probably 7. And, you know, we took our last little bit of money mm -hmm. and went to the Philippines. And I did. And left you guys yeah. home. <laughs> then you, you just left us at home. You're the like shepherd. <laughs> yeah. And then you guys had to. We were the shepherd. We were the magi. Yeah. Well, then you guys had to. I mean, it wasn't easy for me. No, we know. We're just playing. But, it's we're just playing. Yeah. yeah, but then you guys had your own journey. Mm -hmm. Of how the Lord provided for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I provided for you. Guys. Because, you know, I'm like. We ran out of food. We didn't really have anything. Else. We were we were going to be late on our house rent. Yes, we didn't have and it was right before Christmas. So right. We yeah. did not think we were going to have no. Christmas. And you know what's so funny about that story, girls? Is I was thinking just the other day about how many times when you guys were little, and you know we'd be starting a new church from the ground up or whatever. We didn't have a lot, and we'd come to you and we'd say, "Hey, you guys, we just want to let you know." That you're not going to get much for Christmas this year. Every Christmas. It's every year. Yeah. Every I mean, year you said it. And I really, it became, I didn't believe you ever. Yeah. <laughs> because God always miraculously provided. Yeah. He made, he we made meant, fire. We meant it when we said it, for I, sure. I think the first year we were like, oh man, we're really not going to have Christmas presents. We're really not going to have anything. Yeah. And maybe the second year, it was still kind of the same. <laughs> but by the third, we're like, eh, yeah. God's got us. Because yeah. something supernatural would happen every time. Every yeah. time. We would just always try to prepare you guys because we yeah. didn't want your expectations to be yeah. you know, dashed, but the Lord always just he did. showed well, up. I mean, that he year, showed off. The one year you went, you know, and, and we were we literally had no groceries in the house that day. Mm -hmm. And mom's like, hey girls, we're just going to fast and pray for daddy today. And that didn't seem weird. It was like, okay, yeah, we're going to do that way of life. Because we were homeschooling at the time, so we did. Yeah. And we were like, the mom and we're hungry. And she's like, you know, don't worry about it. God will take care of that. And then maybe like an hour later, right? Mm -hmm. Something crazy. You know, we get all of those groceries from all of those people. You yeah. Know, right? And just show up at our house. Yeah, that was, them off. yeah, that was one year. Another year got provided by, you know, Odd circumstances. You wrecked a car. Like that someone, was the same year. Yeah. someone ran into our car. No, yeah, it was the same, was the same year. year. You know, we had our minivan. You know, because families had those. 
back then that we and then we still have those. We had a nice I mean, there's more like spaceships now. Yeah. <laughs> and Daddy had this old car that he just would beat around in, you know, and it was sitting out front in front of the house and some drunk driver yeah. ran into night. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the middle of the night wasn't worth much. But the insurance money. That's where the Christmas yeah. came from. <laughs> yeah, okay. Christmas. Yeah. Well, it just shows God's gonna use a, he uses a variety of ways to provide and supply and sometimes in the ways that are so unexpected mm -hmm. you know what i mean in ways that you couldn't have accounted for in ways that even initially might seem like they won't be a blessing but they end up turning into a blessing yeah. and that was one of them yeah and sure. we ended up having a wonderful christmas yeah. Yeah. god made a way mm -hmm. because god always makes a way whether it's mm -hmm. in natural terms or whether it's in spiritual terms yeah. god always makes a way. Thank you. that was our last christmas before we went on the road mm -hmm. yeah. that was it yeah started. that was that's right. Started traveling. We were beginning that process yeah. during that mm -hmm. time. You know what else I love about the shepherd story in particular that you brought up, Dad, is like, I love that he he came, the, all of this multitude of angels came to the shepherds. They saw the spectacle that no one had ever seen. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the best part about that in my mind is like, Jesus so often revealed himself as a shepherd, you know, in mm -hmm. metaphor and story. Mm -hmm. yeah. So even in who he came to, he revealed an aspect of himself. You know what I mean? Like the shepherd is coming to shepherds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's something yeah. Yeah. special yeah. about that connection. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And, he, and he's born in the environment of shepherds of stable. Yeah. So it's once again, I think it's just a reflection that God meets us where we are. Yeah. Not where we want to be or not where we hope to be, but he meets us where we are. 100%. And so that's one of the great, great joys of the Christmas story and the great joys of what he does and how it transcends even in your own lives. Well, our greatest gift is, is the Lord and, and our second greatest gift is each other. Yep. That's right. Our family. So we want to thank you guys for joining us this year yeah. for just some time with us as we celebrate Christmas. And we just want to say Merry Christmas and have a blessed New Year to all of you guys who are watching. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. everyone. <laughs>